The Mrs. Schmidt Me-210 was a highly outstanding aircraft produced by the Third Reich during World War II. It was distinguished by its distinctive aerodynamic design, a powerful Daimler-Benz DB601 fuel injection engines, a groundbreaking landing gear system and superior weaponry. Despite its striking design, the Me-210 suffered from a slew of defects and engineering oversights, making it unpopular among pilots. Willy Messerschmidt, the founder of Messerschmitt AG, was nearly forced to retire owing to the company's disintegration. The ME-210s were recommissioned to various units in order to recoup resources, and those that did make it to the front lines were dispersed through the fight. Because of their poor performance, they were regarded as one of the worst twin-engine aircraft ever produced for the Luftwaffe. The Messerschmitt ME-210 was created as a successor for the Messerschmitt BF-110 prototypes, with the goal of outperforming Allied efforts in aircraft innovation. The ME-210's design, on the other hand, was a big blunder since it substantially shortened the fighter's nose and moved it closer to the aircraft's center of gravity, giving it a distinct look. The ME-210 also had an internal bomb bay under the cockpit that would carry a payload of over 1,100 pounds. The wing design was completely revamped to fit with the Daimler-Benz DB601 fuel injection engines, allowing it to attain top speed of 390 miles per hour. The ME-210 was a large aircraft meant to fly as quickly as a small fighter but with more weaponry. It had dive brakes on the wings and STUV dive binding points in the nose, which enabled risky maneuvers. The aircraft was equipped with four 20mm guns in the front and the FDSL-131 cutting-edge electric gun targeting system. Remote gun turrets were controlled from the cockpit's back, providing for a greater range of mobility and a defense system capable of shooting in any rear-headed direction. To prevent damage to the aircraft's horizontal stabilizer, the remote turrets were electrically actuated with an electrical contact breaker functioning as an interrupter. These design elements gave the Nazi high command the impression that they were dealing with a juggernaut. Before the prototype could be tested, Hitler ordered a fleet of a thousand ME 210s. The ME 210, a Luftwaffe prototype, had serious faults from its first test flight in 1939. The aircraft's poor maneuverability and continuous oscillation made it dangerous in combat. Engineers at Messerschmitt replaced the dual rudder configuration with an advanced single vertical stabilizer. However, this improvement proved ineffective as the aircraft's unsteady performance persisted. The ambitious design of the nose and wings also resulted in concerns such as a rapid loss in lift, known as stall, which frequently resulted in a spin in which the pilot lost control of the fighter. The MA-210 V2 was introduced in its second version. However, this alteration proved ineffective as the aircraft's weak performance persisted. The Luftwaffe lost the ME-210 V2 in September 1940 owing to irregular spin caused by continuous stalling. The test pilot was unable to recover and was forced to eject before the plane crashed. The weapon systems had flaws as well with claims of electric triggering entire range of motion and safety precautions. Gunners couldn't strike targets because remote gun turrets were faulty. Many aviators avoided utilizing the turret system since some gunners reported the turrets not firing at all. The ME-210's numerous and complicated faults necessitated 16 separate prototypes and nearly 90 unique units from Messerschmitt in order to build a more stable version of the aircraft. The ME-210, a heavy fighter, encountered severe stability concerns and weapon system problems. Despite its flaws during testing, the German Ministry of Aviation, the RLM, chose to authorize the ME-210 for full production in 1941. The decision was motivated by the Luftwaffe desire to replace the BF-110, which had previously shown effective throughout the war. However, the ME-210's handling was poor, prompting the RLM to return the aircraft. The airframe had to be modified and the fuselage's rear part had to be lengthened. The resultant ME-210C was the final variant to see service. 
in the absence of rear place turrets on the Me-210C fighter aircraft, which was debuted in April 1942, made it unpopular among fighter pilots. In May, manufacturing was suspended and the RLM restarted BF-110 manufacturing with the new engines. Only 90 Me-210Cs remained, with over 300 stored. As the Me-210 faced its first battle with the British Royal Air Force in September, the models were declared correct. A pair of Me-210s attempted a raid over the United Kingdom but were met by two Hawker Typhoons. The Typhoon pilots said that the German planes opted to drop their bombs and run rather than the battle, demonstrating the Me-210's inadequate defenses and dangerous handling. Both Me-210s were quickly destroyed. The majority of the remaining frontline Me-210s were transferred to Italy and North Africa, where the Allies had yet to attain total air superiority. Several Me-210 sorties were successful, hitting undefended vehicles and cargo ships. In a desperate attempt to keep driven lines resupplied in the face of mounting Allied pressure in the region, Me-210s also escorted Yonkers Ju-52 3M transport units. However, it wouldn't be long until maintenance issues and superior Allied air coverage effectively grounded the Me-210, with the 90 aircraft in service and another 108 built on commission, being the only Me-210s to fly. The type was later replaced by the new aircraft, the Me-410. Messerschmitt's Corporation Me-210, a faulty aircraft designed by the corporation, was a great embarrassment for the Nazi Germany and ultimately to the business demise. Because of the 210's poor development and performance, RLM and the Luftwaffe were upset, and its owner, Willy Messerschmitt, was forced to quit. However, a last-minute upgrade of the Me-210, which resulted in the Me-410, rescued the firm from bankruptcy. Despite its promise as a deadly fighter, the Me-410 was eventually supplanted by the Bf-110 due to its superior performance. The Messerschmitt Me-210's enormous endeavor was ultimately a flop in the history of aircraft design.